<sighs> hmm. Maybe if I do this. Ugh, I uh, don't know. Milo? Oh. You here? You're here quicker than expected. Fun. Yeah. Uh, feel free to chill wherever you want on Anna. Mm -hmm. um. There's a couch there, seat there, whatever you want to do. There's um, drinks in the mini fridge, by all means. Mini fridge? Yeah, it's a mini fridge over here. And a little kettle. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, no, it's, I'm sorry. It's a little different than slight yeah. technologies. Yeah. yeah. No. Like two times the room size. <laughs> Just make yourself at home. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, so let's talk strategy, I guess. Um. What deck do you run? Uh, I run uh, Black Rose Dragon and Preda Plants kind of mixed together. That's insane. You do realize Black Rose Dragon is a very rare card, right? Yeah. Y you sure you didn't do that good on the duel? Exactly. I, I didn't. I'm. They're good cards, but I'm just bad with them. I've not really been good with dueling, ever. So. <laughs> well, okay. Now you're partnered with me, so let's get let's get you kind of like in a good scenario. Come come sit over this chair over here. Hmm. Uh, and get your deck out on the table. We'll uh, we'll go for it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Wait, you have a number monster? Uh, yeah. You know how rare that is, right? Yeah. Who are you? Just have it. I, uh, I just have good cards. I don't know why. <laughs> so you ha not only have a dragon, not only that, you know, black rose dragon, mm -hmm. but you have number forty-eight shadow lich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just bad at using the deck. It's not even about that anymore. I just want to know who the hell you are. This is an insanely rare deck. It's something even my father would have had issues like, like going against. Lone Fire Blossom literally lets you get any plant type monster out. Mm -hmm. And then Blue Rose Dragon can bring Black Rose Dragon or any like plant monster back from the graveyard. Mm-hmm. And then not only that, but you have Starving Venom as well as a few other like, it like like Predator Plant cards. Mm -hmm. We're teaching you this deck, and I'm going to make you a great duelist. This deck is insane. I please do teach me. I really want to learn how to use it. Okay. Well, considering the fact that the cards are on the table right now, these are probably your best bets. There's mm -hmm. more in your deck, don't get me wrong, but Lone Fire Blossom is kind of your card that you is going to start off your chains. You know what I mean? It's going to start off most of your stuff. Blue Rose mm -hmm. Dragon's great for getting out, like get, getting stuff back from the graveyard if it goes away. For example, Black Rose Dragon, which then nukes the field. But mm -hmm. as, as only do that when you have something to back yourself up with. If you nuke the field and you've got nothing left, they, you're vulnerable to attacks. Mm -hmm. So obviously that's where like Shadow Lich comes in. Most of the time Shadow Lich can, you know, if you, you know, take off a um, an overlay, you can kind of like special summon a token. And it also boosts the Shadow Lich's attack. But when, when the moment that token goes away, sadly, it does uh, minus it. <laughs> Starving Venom is crazy, but like you have a lot of, inf not, not even, almost infinite combos with this deck. All right, we're gonna go through almost every single card of your deck. I hope you're ready for this. All right. It's gonna be a long struggle. Um, we'll take a break. Uh, give it like an hour or two, okay? All right. All right, let's go. <sighs> a beat. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, you down for some food? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, kitchen and raw, or do you wanna go to the academy? Uh, really nice that they just have free person. bread in the, uh, in, in the dormitory. We don't have that in the Hey! Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, it's nice that they have co Hello! Hey! This is kind of Hi. funny. Two, two Slifers and two Raz, you know? 
Wait, did uh -huh. you just come from? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay. So y'all are a team now. I did go for that. Huh. Oh, that was the person you chose as your dual partner. Uh huh. Ah. I'm surprised. I'll be honest. Why? Wow. Oh, this is cool. That's one thing you could say. I showed him what cookies were. Uh huh. Oh, you, didn't you, know you don't what... know what cookies are? I heard of them. He does now. I didn't have one until today. Well, uh, not today. Couple days ago. Week ago. <laughs> you can eat your food first if you if you if you if you're hungry. <laughs> That's good bread. It's very good bread. I was gonna don't say we're actually complimentary bread. I don't like the, the food from the buffet inside. I normally like to go to the kitchen to make something myself, personally. Got a buffet and a kitchen. What? No, oh, buffet in every single dormitory. They'll make, like, like pastries and, like, bread like you've just had. Yeah. I have oh. so many pastries in my room. See, I... Mm, the, mini, the mini fridge helps, to be fair. It does. It helps a it, lot. It does. But yeah. So what are we all doing then? Uh, I mean, we were just gonna head out, try and find some opponents to for the tournament, get some, get started, get a win in. Did you forget what you asked me when the, it was announced? Oh, true. Yeah. I'm not letting you look I mean, around. I'm your first opponent. Simple as that. That, I mean, that works out brilliantly. Yeah. You know what works out more brilliantly? What's that? Behind you. The pathway the, leads towards a well. The pathway, as uh, to the, behind, exactly behind, right there. Beyond that little tree area, there's a duel arena. Well, multiple duel arenas that people use in round. You have multiple duel arenas. Yes. What? So I need to go check this out. Oh well, we're going over. Uh, okay. State of the art as well, to be fair. Oh my goodness! I can even see bleachers from here. Bleachers. Some people just sit there waiting for duels to happen. Oh, it looks like people are there actually right now. Oh, there's a ton of people. There's an obelisk. Yeah, some, sometimes they like to come over here. Cause... Whoa. Yeah, yeah. It's nicer than so some... much nicer at sli than snipers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nicer than paint on some dirt. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't mind slifers. It's got a I don't mind it, it, but like... I will say the only bad thing about this is when it's too hot, sometimes it can get really, really bad it, with no shade. Yeah, I don't want to look up. The sun's so bright. It is very bright. That, that mm. is the one thing you're not supposed to do is stare at the sun ever. Even in an eclipse, yeah. and, and the sun's still bright. Mm -hmm. No, of course. Anyway, we should probably get things uh, going what? Looks like Eloise has chosen a side for us. Uh, yeah, like, no. You ready no, to do? Okay. You guys need to look at the sun. I'm no. not doing that. Listen, you've got no. this. Listen, what we practice, okay? Fine. Fine. You've got Fine. this. All right, let's go. All right, then. If we're all ready. We are. Let's duel. Let's duel. Let's, let's duel. duel! All right, I'm looking forward to this. Same. Mm -hmm. I think we'll take the first move, if you don't mind. That's fine by me. I draw. And... Uh, hey, buddy. Didn't expect to see you right here. Let's start things out strong, shall we? I activate the field spell Scrap Factory. And now I'll play my spell card, Scrap Yard, allowing me to add my Scrap Raptor to, the fi to my hand. Now here's where things get a little bit confusing, so I hope you're able to keep up. I summon Scrap Raptor in attack mode and I use its special ability, destroying itself, which means I'll be able to normal summon another scrap monster this turn. But now two effects happen simultaneously, both my scrap raptor and my scrap factory. Since the scrap monster was destroyed, I'm allowed to special summon to the field my scrap golem. Impressive. And with scrap raptor, I get scrap chimera to my hand, which if you remember, I can now normal summon. So come to the field. And Scrap Chimera's effect activates, bringing back Scrap Raptor to the field. And lastly, I'll tune these two monsters together, 
in order to synchro summon the Scrap Dragon. Huh. <sighs> I knew you with something in that deck of yours. Uh huh. That and a whole lot more. I set one card face down and end my turn. <laughs> oh. You. I forgot you were in this deck. Huh. I'll leave you for later. First, I activate the spell card Pot of Greed. During two cards, of course. The classic. Next, I activate one more spell card. Black Whirlwind. That'll come into play right about now. I normally summon my Shura the Blue Flame, activating Black Whirlwind's effect. I get to bring a card to my hand, as long as it has less attack points than the card that I used. Hmm. And I bring Bore of the Sphere to my hand. Next, since I have a Blackwing Monster on my field that isn't called Bore of the Sphere or Gale of the Whirlwind, I can special summon both of them to the field. And there we go. Next, I can activate the effect of Gale of Whirlwind, targeting your Scrap Dragon. It gets half its attack and defense. That's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Next, it's time to Synchro. You know what? It's time to show you my ace. By using my... Gale of the Whirlwind and my Bore of the Sphere, I can bring out Armor Master. And you know what? Since tag rules, sadly, I can't attack this turn. I'll go ahead and end. It looks not quite so friendly. <laughs> huh. Okay. I will activate double summon, allowing me to normal summon two cards this turn. And I will bring out my Medulce Knight and my Medulce Petting Cessior. Using these two, I will overlay them both and mm, I'll bring out number 39, Utopia. Ooh. He's real shiny. That he is. Wait, a, a normal monster? <laughs> What's a number monster? A normal monster is, uh. think about a card that's a one in a billion. It's a card so rare that not even collectors can get them so easily. It like it. It. Some people say it's like attaching its uh, the card to its soul. It. It chooses you, not you choose it. It's weird to ex express. People say it. I don't believe it myself, but to see one in person is really rare. Touches it's my knight in shining armor. Jesus. Alrighty. I will activate Pot of Greed. And then... Mm, I will... Swap the position of Scrap Dragon. And... Activate Overlay Network. Hmm, no way letting it. Okay. I will not be using that this turn, though. Hmm. Instead... I will... Mm, set one card face down, and then... Do the tag dual rules, I'll end my turn. Your move, Robin. Good luck. Alright. Like we practiced. Alright. I'll normal summon Lone Fire and activate its effect, sending it away to the graveyard. And then I will summon Scorpio in attack position <laughs> and activate his effect. And I will send Quilt Bolt away and summon Cobra in attack position and I'll activate its effect and get this card into my hand and activate polymerization and then I will summon Starving Venom in attack position. No way. You got it out first, Tam? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, they're not That's ready. Quite a monster. You haven't seen nothing yet. Um, real strong. 
I will gain Utopia's attack. <laughs> I will activate it again to copy Scrap Dragon's ability. Oh. Oh. And then uh, I'll set go. this card and activate again using Pot of Greed to destroy Utopia. What? <laughs> Where to uh. sacrifice a Pot of Greed? Oh. And then I will enter battle phase. And all pack. Might as well attack Rap Dragon. Scrap Dragon Which has an FT we... effect though. Ah. Uh, yeah. Which one? Chimera or Raptor? Ah. Uh, Raptor, please. Alrighty. Do you want it in attack or defense? Oh, they've still got monsters left to attack, so uh, we, we need the defense that we can get. That we do. <laughs> uh, I'll have Shura attack Scrap Raptor. <laughs> mm -hmm. I forgot to mention one thing about my armor master. It takes no battle damage and can't be destroyed by battle. Oh, mm -hmm. that's unfortunate. <laughs> nice then swag, Robin. I'll... You remember. Mm hmm. Then I'll end my turn. <gasps> okay. Let's. Let's see what we can do here. First things first, I'll activate Graceful Charity. I'm allowed to draw three cards as long as I discard two. I'll send my Scrap Searcher and Scrap Soldier to the grave. And then... Then I'll activate the effect of my Junk Converter. Sending my Junk con Changer to the grave along with itself. So I can add to my hand my Junk Synchron. Now I summon Junk Synchron in attack mode, and I use its special ability in order to bring Junk Converter back to the field. Alright, okay. Let's see here. What do I want to do? I want to do that. Okay, I tune my Junk Synchron along with my Junk Converter in order to Synchro Summon Junk Warrior! And now I can activate Junk Converter's effect. Since it was used for a Synchro Summon, I can Special Summon a Tuna Monster from my graveyard. Like my Scrap Raptor. Hmm. He returns. But I can't activate his effect this time. So, what I am going to do instead is activate Call of the Haunted. I'll bring back to the field Scrap Dragon. And I'll use its special ability, destroying my Scrap Raptor, and... Two monsters, which one are you going to do? Stronger. But you said Blackwing Armor Master can't be destroyed in battle, so I'll destroy it with a card effect instead! Smart move. And now, two things are going to happen simultaneously. I activate Scrap Factory's effect, and Scrap Raptor's. Scrap Raptor? will allow me to add to my hand my Scrap Hunter. And Scrap Factory will allow me to special summon to the field. Hmm. Let's go with my Scrap Breaker. Hmm. Impressive. You think so? Yeah. Alright. Scrap Dragon, let's show him what you're made of. Attack the Starving Venom! I'll activate Starving Venom's effect. <laughs> Destroys everything. The monster's yeah. out of there. Oh. Okay. With Scrap Dragon gone, that activates its effect once again. So I'll bring right back to the field my Scrap Golem in attack mode. <laughs> Your Black Wing's not safe from this attack. Oh, don't be so sure. Oh? 
It might be gone now, but wait till later. You'll see. Right. And... You know what? I'll activate Scrap Golem's effect, allowing me to special summon back to the field my Scrap Chimera. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll put it on your field in defense mode. Give you a little something. Ah, uh, can't be used by synchro material, can it? I'm no, trying to. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> smart, smart. Yeah, scrap Chimera needs other scrap monsters in order to synchro summon. I see. Well, okay, if that's the case, I'll know some of my Steam the Cloak activating the effect of Black Whirlwind, bringing a test unit of the two swords to my hand. I'll activate the effect of Glow Up Bulb. Summon it on the field. And then, hmm. There's not much I can do, I'll be honest. Yeah, I guess that's it. If I could do more, I'll be honest. Hmm. I'll end my turn. I'm sorry, I thought I could do more. That Scrap Chimera hmm. really messed me up. You're okay. Fine. Let's see. Um... I will normal summon my Medulce Miofira and activate its effect. This allows me to special summon my Medulce Messengelato. And since it was special summoned, I can activate its effect. This allows me to add a card to my hand, in which case... I'll bring this to my hand. I will activate my Medulce Chateau and bring back all my Medulce cards. Hmm. Let's see. I guess in that case, I'll move straight on to the battle phase. I'm sorry about this. Ugh. I messed up. And then... I'll activate the uh, Steam the Cloak's effect, bringing a, a token to the field. Okay. Um... And then... Um... Hmm. I'll attack the Scrap Chimera. <laughs> Thank you. That was a real big pain. And then... I will end my turn there. Very well. Your move, Robin. Good luck. Mm. All right. I'll normal summon Roxra's dragon. Activate its effect. And... I'll add Red Rose dragon to my hand. And... I'll activate Steam the Cloak's effect. Nice. And tribute the token. To normal summon it. And then I will summon out. Number forty eight. <laughs> We also have Shadow a number Lich. as well. Oh, cool. Intriguing. Mm -hmm. Still not quite strong enough mm -hmm. to take down Messengelato or uh, oh, Scrap Golem. Yeah, here. It still takes out one of your monsters. Mm. Best I can do. Better than nothing, thank you. Mm-hmm. 
I'll return it to my hand. That is annoying. Mm. I'll end my turn. Alright. Let's see here. I think... Feel free to use my messenger lotto. I don't think I'll be able to. That's the thing. So instead, I'm just going to activate Quick Draw Synchron's effect. By discarding one monster, I'm allowed to special summon it directly to the field. <laughs> Impressive. And now, I'll normal summon my Junkaribo. Hmm. Quick Draw Synchron's got a l nifty little effect. It can replace itself with any other Synchron Tuner monster. So I don't need Junk Synchron in order to Synchro Summon Junk Gardener! <laughs> An impressive backline. Got a little bit of defense. We'll need it. Alright. Now. To activate Shadow Lich's effect. And. Patch Steam the Cloak. Summon the phantom token in defense. Nice. <sighs> All right. Let's also gain the attack as well. Like, nice. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for you, I have John Gardner on the field, and its effect activates, switching your phantom token into attack mode. Oh, we're still mm. taking damage. Okay. So messenger Lado will attack the token. Mm. That goes back oh, down. good, that does bring back down your attack points. Yes. Scrap Golem, attack the Shadow Ledge! This is exciting, take down a number monster. <laughs> Never even seen one of those. I am my turn. I'll do my best. Since I have no monsters on the field, I can special summon Gofu in defense position, activating its effect to bring two tokens to the field. Token number one, token number two. Hmm. And guess what? So, oh, Gofu has a second effect. Since I have a Synchro monster in the graveyard, and since I have mon uh, monsters on the field that level up to level seven, I can activate its effect and bring Armor Monster right back to the field, using the two tokens and itself. You thought you got rid of it? It's right back. Next, like a sink or someone from the grave. I'll have to fit the effect of Blackwing's strafe, removing Matessi and two swords. That gardener goes to the graveyard. <sighs> That's unfortunate, but Junk Gardener has a special ability, changing the battle position of your Blackwing armor monster. That's completely fine, because I know some of my Auster, activating the the fact of Black Whirlwind, bringing a jet stream the blue sky to my hand. And guess what? Let's battle. I'll attack what? Oster with Scrap Golem. What? <laughs> you see, with Black Wings, they help each other. Kind of like how I'm helping Robin right now. I use Kalut the Moonshadow's effect from the hand. It gains its attack points. Oh, that's... Oh, that's unfortunate. Next, oh. I'll throw down a face down and end my turn. Okay, um... Hmm. I will... I will normal summon my Mewfu again, and use its effect. Next, I'll activate the effect of Delta Crow Anti-Reverse. Say goodbye to your spells and traps. Oh, no, no. Face down specifically, sadly. You keep your overlay network and your field spell. Mm. Well, in that case... I'll flip this. Hmm. My Dolce Palooza. There's my urgent tuning. Unfortunately, 
Then I'll summon my Medolce Crescent in attack mode. Using its ability, I will return my uh, I'll return my cat to the hand. Mm. Let's see. Um, unfortunately, it looks like we could use a little bit of defense. So, I'll use my Magellan and my Messenger Lotto, and I will summon my Medulce Teacher in defense. <laughs> Impressive. And then, I'll enter the battle phase. And with my Crescent, I'll get rid of your Oster. <laughs> you said you were going to get rid of anything. I activate the effect of Jetstream, the Blue Skies effect. You can't be destroyed by battle, but I will take battle damage. Ugh. Okay, um... I'll end my turn there. <laughs> Feel free to use my hmm. monster. Better mine. I will. I will normal summon Hydra and tribute Uster for it. <laughs> then I'll activate its effect and banish Cobra. And I'll make Crescent one. A little bit weaker. And then I will special summon Angel of Fallen Angel of Roses. Nice. And I will change Armor Master to attack. And I will attack Crescent with Armor Master. Where's the dog? Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a fact. And I'll return it to my hand. I'll go to mid phase two. And. Hmm. Can't do anything else. I'll end my turn. That's fine. You did good. Thank you. Mm hmm. Well, I've got another card that can protect us for a while. I set one card face down and end my turn. <laughs> Why don't you look at that? I've got one card that can also do the same thing. Hmm. Why don't you look at that? I evict the effect of Ors of the Moon, banishing it. I get to give a wedge token, and guess what? Would you look at this? Armor Master's effect now activates because you've got that wedge token. I activate its effect! You see your, uh, your Glasufel? Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and target it with this wedge counter. You see, this wedge counter will make your monster zero attack and zero defense. Oh. Sorry, I'm, I'm just reading Eloise's card. It looks like it, the teacher has an effect. So I can, I've never used Dixie's cards before. Detach an Xyz material, and it means <sighs> that the teacher is not affected by monster effects? That is annoying. That's mm -hmm. fine. I'll go ahead and attack Armor Master to your uh, Glasufel. What? Why? We'll see. Activating the effect. Mm. There we go. I'll on my turn. I'm so confused. <laughs> hmm. I will set one card face down and then end my turn there. All up to you now. Hmm. Well, normal summon Spino Dorsia and activate its effect, placing a counter on the teacher because I can't really pronounce her name. It's a very weird name. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like souffle. Mm -hmm. Special summon. Yes. 
Hydra tributing to correct teacher. That simpleton over there, though. Crazy, huh? Mm. Funny. Mm. Do you reckon they have souffle at the cafeteria? For obelisks, yeah. Oh. Never tried it. Maybe the obelisks will let me try. Right. They do uh, not try. Least... And I'll attack the face down with Armor Master. Um. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I will activate Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Hmm. That is an old card, but also <laughs> an annoying one. It's really useful. Very useful. It stops in a one attack per turn, and it goes right back face down. So I can use it again later. Hmm. Luckily, still we can still destroy it with the Queen of Roses. I'll return my baffle to my hand. Hmm. All right. Hmm. I'll attack with both of them. <sighs> and I'll end it there. Good job. You're getting this. Mm -hmm. Alright, my man. Be more confident in yourself, please. Could place this. But I also want to hold on to it. So for now, I'm going to end my turn. A bold move. Hmm. hmm. You're lucky, I guess. I didn't really draw her into anything particular. But still, you're gonna get attacked by the whole squad. Fallen Angel of Roses first. I guess you. I guess you're smart enough to wait for Armor Master. Armor Master next. Most attack points. You have to save the uh, protection card with that. You're not wrong. Spino as well as the Hydra attack you directly. And that puts you on what? 6,500? Yeah. You got a turn to make this right. You sure he wants to wait that long? I am my turn. Hmm. I will. Um. I will normal summon my move play again. And then activate its effects. Mm -hmm. This, um... Hmm... I'll put Baffle in defense mode. I will activate Baffle's effect to change my Mephila's battle position and then... Um... Mm. I'll change your... Pet plant Position to defense. That's fine. Um... And then... You okay, Elvis? Some like, yes. Seems like someone's getting nervous. <laughs> In your dreams, I'm just thinking. Mm. Losing, losing to a slifer and a raw, someone who wants to go into obelisk, huh? Would be pretty embarrassing, wouldn't it? I'll overlay both of my materials and bring out my Liver the Sea Dragon in attack mode. Hmm. What next? And then I will detach my Bapple and then special summon your Cobra. Hmm. You don't mind if I use your Cobra's effect, right? I don't mind at all. I'd make Cobra's effect. Getting rid of the Scorpio, banishing it, to at least lessen the attack of your monster. that in defense and then I'll get rid of that if you don't mind. Spino. Damn. 
And then... Mm, I'll end my turn there. You've got this, Robin. Right. Right. Hmm. I will you activate Hydra's effect to banish it. And I will lower Lavare's attack once more. Nice. Then I will summon Red Rose Dragon. And I'll enter battle phase and have. Red Rose attack the dragon. <laughs> nice. I'll activate my Scrap Iron Scarecrow to negate that. <sighs> I'll have Armor Master attack the dragon instead. Mm. That's a lot of damage. Mm hmm. I'll get Fallen Angel to attack the Cobra. And then... Hydra. And I'll end my turn. Alright, Deck. Don't fail me now. I draw! Well, that's useful. Alright, since I control no monsters on the field, I'm allowed to special summon Junk Forward. And now... I can normal summon Junk Synchron to the field. You remember oh, its effect, right? I do. I'm going to bring back my Junk Converter. In defense mode, of course. Now, I'm going to tune together my Junk Synchron and my Junk Forward in order to Synchro summon Gaia Knight, the Force of Earth. Gaia. Just slightly stronger than that Armor Master of yours. Still can't destroy it though, can you? Not quite. But I can get rid of the other monsters on your field and do some massive life point damage. So go, Gaia! Attack the Hydra! I'll use Hydra's effect to lower Gaia. You can do that all the time. Damn. Yep. Every single turn, even on yours. <laughs> All right. Then I'll banish Cobra. And I'll target Gaia to lower its attack. Nice. Oh, it's more attack than I would have appreciated. <laughs> 500 every single time. And my turn. <laughs> Don't you look at that. You know what? It's time to end this. I activate the spell card I just drew Monster Reborn. Oh no. Bringing back Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Oh no. uh, Don't mind if I use your monster, yes. right? Of course. Go Activating ahead. its effect, I target Gaia the Knight. Doesn't do really anything, sadly. Let's set one more card. It's time to end this. Armor Master, destroy the Gaia Knight. Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you did. Junk Converter. Gone. At the very least, we'll survive this. One more ten. <laughs> and there's your scrap iron scarecrow. Of course. I'll end my ten. You got this, Robin. Next ten. Right. Come on, okay. Eloise. Let's see, I'll, I'll bring out these two again, and then I'll bring out my Grenosaurus. Saurus? Hmm. A dinosaur. Right. It's an old card. It's a very old card. 
And then... I'll attack your red rose dragon. That's a fact that activates, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That it does. I'll detach my croissant. And... I guess I'll add this to my hand. Ugh! Deal a thousand life points. Hmm. Um... Unfortunately, that is all I can do. On my turn there. <laughs> All right. Summon Rose Witch. And I'll change this card's position. My level leader. And I can synchro summon. The Garden Rose Maiden into defense. And I'll trigger its effect to get Black Garden. This is just adding insult to injury. <laughs> it's time to end this, Robin. Overkill much. <laughs> right. Sorry. Um. I'll attack using Starving Venom. Of course, you'll use that. And I'll attack using my last two. I'm a master. We did it! <sighs> wow. But that was incredible! We did it! You guys are amazing! Yeah! Good are job! Are you fucking kidding? Oh. What? what was that? You did great too. That you've gotten this school based on your dual talent alone because clearly you didn't do too well on the written exam but i guess there's a reason why you're slifer huh uh <laughs> what what i'm getting out of here uh, uh eloise what oh my uh, um <clears throat> young man could you come here for a minute please uh, yeah, sure. I, I'll talk to you later, guys, I guess. Yeah, you take care. See ya. Have a good one, yeah. Good stuff, by the way. Come around. We'll have a chat. Ah, oh, we won. Yeah. <laughs> How did that feel, huh? Really good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. See? You were confident in yourself. That's all you need to do. That's literally all you need to do. It's all in your head. Mm -hmm. You got it. Listen, this is just the start. I... What? What's up? I, I I don't know. I'm just happy. I'm happy that we won. Same, honestly. <laughs> I mean, again, Eloise is no like laughing matter. You know, you don't get you don't get to where you are, especially sleeping in the exam and still getting into Ra. Mm -hmm. They're a very formidable opponent. Mm -hmm. Oh, come here. <laughs> you did great, Robin. Honestly. Thank you, Milo. Yeah, so anyway, um, how's uh, the Slife life t like training you? Like, what's going on with um, that? I mean, it's all right. Campgrounds and stuff, uh. I guess. Mm, it's not as good as Raw or anything I mean, else. This like is good. That. Imagine the upgrade to Obelisk. You know what I mean? Hey, Milo, open up. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is at the door. Hello? Hey, you're Milo, right? Uh, yes. Hey, man, I saw your duel. Great job today. Uh, anyway, you got lettered. Um, your mom says hi. What? So, uh, yeah, uh. Did you read my letter? <laughs> what? There's a no from my mom. He read my, no like, my letter. What the fuck? Oh, nope. uh, my name's Anthony, by the way. Oh. Uh, I'm your neighbor. And yeah, if you need anything, let me know. Huh? Son of a bitch!